Hi, friends. I just want to read to you a passage there from 1 Peter 3, from verse 7. In the same way, you married men should live considerably with your wives, with an intelligent recognition, honoring the woman as physically the weaker, but realizing that you are joint heirs of the grace of life in order that your prayers may not be hindered in order that your prayers must not may not be hindered and cut off otherwise you cannot pray effectively finally all of you should be of one and the same mind we must be united in spirit sympathizing with one another loving each other as brethren of one household compassionate and courteous, tender-hearted, and humble. Never return evil for evil, or insult for insult, scolding, tongue-lashing, berating, but on the contrary, blessing. Prayer for their welfare, happiness, and protection, and truly pitying and loving them. In other words, God doesn't want us to fall into the negativity that can happen in marriage where you started to insult each other, break each other down. Instead, he said, make sure that you are one in spirit, one in mind, and that you pray for one another, bolt each other. So it's not always so easy in marriage, but he's even talking about your friendship. Matthew 5 from verse 23. So if when you are offering your gift at the altar, you there remember that your brother has any grievance against you, leave your gift at the altar and go. First make peace with your brother and then come back and present your gift. In other words, what the Bible is saying, we know that we must offer our bodies, our whole lives as a living sacrifice to Jesus Christ. So every time that you come to prayer in prayer to God, it's as good as if you are putting your body, your whole life on the altar. And if you do it while you know that you are in a dispute with one of your friends or your neighbors, whoever it is, it's as good as if you offer a sick or a lame animal to him, the way that they still offered and sacrificed in the Old Testament. He's comparing it with that. So, remember, if you know that you've got something against somebody else, ask God to forgive you, to make your heart pure, to look at those people with his eyes of love, but... The most difficult portion is if you know that there's something bothering them about you. God said, don't try to pray. Your prayers will be hindered. Go to that person and make it right. Because we live from forgiveness. And you will be amazed at how light your spirit will feel. I can still remember I've been in a situation where a person and I, we had a big quarrel. I've been in the secret organizations and that person was in a big family from a big family and we quarreled and we, I tell you, it was such a big thing. And God told me, go and make it right. And you can argue and you can defend yourself and say, God, it's not my problem. I've been in the right. That's not the way to do it. Just go and ask that person's forgiveness. Humble yourself and make sure that the relationship is restored. It doesn't mean that you have to be close buddies with that person after he may be terribly disappointed you, but make sure that your heart is light, that you don't keep anything against him. Give the whole thing into God's hands and you will be surprised how wonderful he's going to handle it. And often he will totally heal the situation and even your marriage it's not necessary to let this thing go bigger and bigger restore it as quick as possible make sure that you maintain that bond of love between you and your your partner i bless you in the name of jesus